They look like they look like a tomato. Oh my god. They're like a little peachy apricot -y thing. Hello, everyone. Well, up over that hill is where I slept last night. And it was amazing. Uh, just had a quick bite to eat at the end of these shops. Now I'm going to fill up all my water at these taps, which was crazy busy yesterday. There was everyone filling the taps with big five litre jugs and it was mental and I guess uh, this is the place so if the locals are drinking it, I'm drinking it. Oh, it's really cold. actually quite loud. Fortunately I got some custom made earplugs made when I was back in Australia so that's not going to be a problem. Speaking of problems, I was coming down the road today and I lost all use of my rear brake. It was a really fun experience. Uh, so it turns out my rear brake pads uh, completely gone. I was very fastidious on checking the front pads, but I was unaware on how much quicker the rear pads wore away compared to the front. Definitely learned that lesson. Uh, what I have done now is I've actually swapped the front pads for the rear pads, so I at least have rear brake because rear brake's better than front brake. I'll camp tonight, uh, I'll get up early tomorrow, get to the nearest village, 
start looking for brake pads. The next 50 k tomorrow is going to be fun though. That being said, there's no point worrying about it. So, that was a car. So I might as well go a bit of an exploration and I have found this. Quite interesting though, right? Are these plums? Is this a plum tree? Because what they do here is they eat them when they're small and green like this. Oh, but they're so pal. What the hell? They're all over the ground. So they're ripe or else they wouldn't fall off the tree. They look like they look like a tomato. Oh my god. They're like a little peachy apricotty thing. Absolutely no idea. And they look neither ripe nor delicious. Now this is interesting. This water has got to be at least five meters higher than the river, which means they've somehow got the water to come up this high and then keep flowing down. Wow, that was really unexpected. Uh, but I'm on my way back now because I wandered quite far away from the bike and I'm a little nervous. We will go and look around the abandoned house that's just there. Well, it's an old mill or something. Yeah, I really don't trust that floor. Mm. Well, I think that's it for today. In the morning, I'll get up, ride to the nearest town, start looking for brake pads, which I'm confident I'll find. And then I'm heading for a city called Gaziantep, where I'll stay for a couple of days and catch up. And then go back to Tepe.